Um, loading in the drums, not a problem at all. You know, we we got everything in the night before we started tracking on Monday, and then yeah, we we were pretty much able to come in here, set everything up, get all the mics going, get some really killer sounds, so that when we came in here on Monday morning, it was just. The album title is uh, Generation Y. There's 11 tracks on the album, uh, one, one of which is an intro. Yeah. yeah, so there's going to be 10 full songs. 10 full album. songs. On this album, we have a handful of the, uh, the old songs that all of our fans know, and they've seen us play the shows, and they've heard on older recordings. So we have you know some older songs. And then as far as brand new ones, I believe there's four. And I think those are all um, good representatives of how we've grown. We wanted to tie in. Uh, the idea of kind of like the media in this day and age and how pretty much just show how everyone our age kind of, you know, their lives are kind of run by everything that they see on TV, whether it's the news or fucking all the MTV reality crap and no one really knows what is real anymore, you know, and everyone kind of yeah. lives their lives by, you know, all this fake shit that's on TV. <laughs> that looks broken. Looks pretty broken. Well, the first two days of recording with the drums, uh, Jim killed it, and he's a machine. We got in about 11 o'clock, and we finished around 2. And yesterday, there was a good six hours of tracking, maybe like with the breaks and everything, about six hours of actual playing. And then today, it was about, give or take, three hours. So nine hours of tracking, ten songs, pretty, pretty solid. <laughs> Rax is just a completely different experience from all of our other previous uh, recording sessions. Just the vibe in here is just absolutely amazing. Like yeah. the, the it's an actual studio, you know. So you just feel like this whole energy of you know all these like great artists that have recorded here before us. And but but funny enough, it actually kind of feels like Conrad's basement because I don't know if you noticed the the red paint is exactly the same as his, as his basement. So it kind of feels like home. Fuck it. Yeah, it was definitely a great start to a, a great, you know, recording session. Yeah.